Now with our celebration of Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander heritage this month. And Tianyu Arts and Culture is preserving Chinese lantern traditions and dazzling more than 7 million visitors from Paris to Pittsburgh. Take a look for yourself. Our goal is to share the art of the lantern with the rest of the world. When they entering a Chinese lantern festival, a visitor will be immersed in light ocean. The history of the Chinese lantern festival actually started from about 2000 years ago in a dynasty called Han Dynasty. At the beginning, we used to hang lanterns home during the Chinese New Year to just scare off the evil spirits. But as time progressed, it evolved into a festival where friends and families would gather together to celebrate the occasion. At the very beginning, the lanterns were made of paper and um, bamboo and just candles. But as technology evolved and time progressed, we were able to use new materials. We started testing a lot of new techniques to make the lantern moving, to make the lantern color changing. We once used like thousands, if not millions of ping pong balls to make a huge giant panda. It's really amazing to see how they could use different materials or even upcycle some of the everyday materials into an art display. Our company is located in Zigong, Sichuan province. They have the largest number of lantern artisans here. The making of the lantern is all learned by experience. There's no school or any training course. Usually it's passed either by families or it's by like apprenticeship. In making a lantern, it actually takes at least four different uh, artisans. And then the first start is painter to draw the sketch of a lantern. And then they draw that on the ground or on a wood board or any flat surface. And then the welder would come in and with the seal, they would have to build around the shape to bring it into a 3D shape. And then we have electricians, they will wire up the light bulbs. And then at last, we'll have the fabric artisan who will pull the fabric onto the lantern frame to bring it to life. The special thing about lanterns is that it's a very rare art form, survives for thousands of years. That's very great uh, representation of how um, people are working really hard to preserve uh, a lot of our traditional arts and make it more popular with the younger generation so that we can keep it alive in the future for generations to come. Ah, it's so beautiful. I could just take in all those pictures all day long. And I love the history there mm -hmm. and so photographable. Mm -hmm. So you can put it all over social media. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.